All right, guys, so this is a parking lot test. That way we can test out what the stock mirrors look like on this car. Now, on all Civic models, it's pretty much the same mirror. So if we were to measure it from there to there, we can see like one and a half parking space on the stock one, on the driver's side. Now, if we go over here on the passenger side, it's about close to two parking spots. Now, if we look at the car from the outside, you'll see that the side mirrors are obviously clear. There's like no bluish tint to them whatsoever. It's absolutely just clear. Also, by the way, look how dirty the car is. This is exactly why I don't like winter. Now, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Ghost Tech. So Ghost Tech went ahead, reached out to me and asked me if I want to try out their shades. So I went ahead and accepted their offer. So this is basically sunglasses with headphones in it. It's built in, uh, which I think is really cool. Uh, so when we open the box, we get our own little carrying case, which is pretty sweet. And that's it. So let's open this up. Ta-da! So we got the glasses itself. Um, it looks to me like a social media card. So flash your equipment on Ghost Tech. So they have a TikTok and Instagram. If you need an instruction book, just scan that QR code. Ear tips? Oh, this. these are like nose tips, it looks like. Microfiber cloth has Ghost Tech's logo on it. Pretty cool. Then we have the charger. So if you look right here, this is what the glasses look like. Ghost Tech has little vents right there. I don't know if that's for the speakers, um, but yeah, this is what it looks like when you put it on. Cool. Does talk to you when you open it up. Look, listen to this, guys. Not sure if you guys heard that but it talked to us shades are powered on shades connected so just as long as it's connected to bluetooth and this is where you charge the device and just doing a sound test on these glasses um, i'm gonna play some music and hopefully you guys can hear it Obviously, it's hard to give you guys like a sound sample. The sound quality on these, they're not the best, but they're not the worst. They're okay. It's kind of muffled, but yeah, I mean, yeah, they're nice. Uh, they're, I'm literally looking directly at the sun and it's protecting me just like what normal shades would do. And I have an option to use the speakers uh, because this is connected to my phone. So if I'm jumping around or you know, shaking my head like that. It's not falling, so I don't have to worry about my earphones fall or my headphones falling as I'm working out uh, outside. But yeah, look at that, guys. That, isn't that cool? I like them. So back inside of the garage, as you can see, I have the car here. And we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the product. So this is how the product came. A bunch of packaging peanuts. Um, but yeah, this is the box, Spoon Sports. Blue wide door mirrors, part number 76203, FKA030. And it says right here that it fits the FK7, FC1, FK8. Just a plain white box, as you can see right here. Nothing on the bottom. Uh, it includes the 3M tape that we're going to be sticking onto the side mirror. And it's wrapped nice and tightly in this bubble wrap. Wow, this is really nicely packaged. So there's like two layers of bubble wrap. Plus, once you get to the mirror, it's wrapped tightly. It's like vacuum sealed in this plastic.
Whoa, look at this. So here's, here it is, guys. Ready? Ready for this? Ready to see the difference? Boom, look at that, look how far I am now. Like, it looks like we, uh, we switched over to like an ultra wide kind of view. It looks like we went from this to this. Actually, more like this to that. You can see their logo right there. Spoon Sports, cool, cool. This again is the stock mirror. I just wanted you guys to see the difference inside of the garage. On the stock mirror, we can only see part of the car. And if you can see the whole logo right there, that's how we're gonna measure this. So the whole logo plus the door handle, that is pretty much what our stock mirror looks like. So for this installation, I basically got myself some glass cleaner and a microfiber towel. And we're pretty much just gonna be cleaning this whole thing off because uh, I don't want any of the dirt to be stuck underneath the adhesive uh, so that this will stick on properly. So every time I'm cleaning a mirror or some sort of window, I like to shine a light on it because as you can see right there, there's a bunch of dust and there's a little bit of smears on this. So yeah, I'm gonna wipe this again and hopefully all this stuff will come off. So before I stuck the 3M tape onto the mirror, I went ahead and got my heat gun uh, only because it's like 20 degrees inside this garage. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna heat up the mirror so that it'll help out the adhesive. For example, this one. So it's too cold and the adhesive isn't really sticking on it to anything. So this is why I'm gonna need the heat gun because this is way too cold for this to stick onto anything properly. So once this is heated up, it's a lot easier to stick these on because they're actually sticking. Whereas if these were cold, then it's not really sticking to anything. Do the same thing on the side mirror. So when you guys are doing this, you want to make sure that this is lined up perfectly with your side mirror and make sure you push this in. Look how much more we can see. That's a big difference right there, guys, because look at that. Look at the car and then we can see the whole entire area right there because before it was only like this that we can see, but now it's like also, for those of you who are concerned about moving your mirror, uh, just as long as you aligned it properly, then you wouldn't have any problems moving your mirror around. The only thing that I'm concerned about is the heated side mirror feature that this car has. All right, guys, so we're going to do like a little fog test on the mirrors. So I actually waited about two hours for this to actually cool to garage temperature. So this is without the heated mirrors turned on. So as you can see, the foggy breath is still there. And it finally went away after 10 seconds. Now this mirror is the stock mirror. Still there. All right, so it finally went away. So that actually took a while. That that was probably almost a minute uh, for the fog to go away. So I got the heated mirrors turned on. All right, so it's been about a minute since I had the heated mirrors turned on. Um, we're gonna blow on this again. Nothing, look at that. And you can see the outline, the foggy outline right there. Let's try that again. <sighs> nope, nothing over here. Now, let's try this side. <sighs> I 
mean, at least the fog goes away after like five seconds, but it's obviously not as good as the one that we have on the other side, our stock mirror pretty much, uh, because the stock mirror obviously is connected to the heated function of this vehicle. This is pretty much just stuck on with 3M tape. So this is actually getting heat from the heated mirror function that this car has. That's pretty cool. Flip it off. Yeah, it goes away. I mean, obviously there's gonna be no fog on this side because, see? Yeah, there's like absolutely no fog, except for down there where the heated part doesn't, you know, reach. I'm actually impressed. This is actually surprising that this actually still gets heat from the heated mirrors. That's pretty cool. I guess I can show you guys what it looks like when there's street lights. That is with the spoon. This is the stock mirror. Uh, now that I see the footage, um, yeah, you do kind of see a bluish tint to this, but it's not that noticeable. But like, it's a lot wider compared to that one. That looks like it's zoomed in a lot. So we're here at the same parking spot, obviously a different day. But if you look at the side mirror, we can clearly see three spaces. Then on the other side, we can see two. So if you're driving and you're looking at your side mirrors and then you look at your rear view mirror, all the cars look so far away on the side mirrors. And then when you look at your rear view mirror, it looks like they're closer uh, than you know, than the side mirrors because obviously we have a wide angle lens or a wide angle mirror versus a normal mirror. So that's something that you're gonna have to get used to. I wonder if they make a wide angle rear view mirror for the FK8. Uh, if so, I'm probably gonna have to install it because for some reason, I don't know if it's only just me, but I literally just got a headache looking from here to there uh, while I was driving. So again, it's something to get used to and you can clearly see the blue tint to the side mirrors. Uh, if you look over here, window's a little bit dirty, but yeah, there is a bluish tint to it. Um, but I can see a lot more, like I don't even have to tilt my mirrors down to see the road underneath or the road that's below me. So like if I'm reverse parking, uh, I can clearly see the lines. I don't have to move any of my side mirrors. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button and comment down below what you guys think of this video or if you have any future suggestions on what I should be doing to this car or even the Honda Accord. All the links will be down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. Uh, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time, and peace out.